It's another good news for Ghana's agricultural sector as Ghanaian magnate Safo Kantanka has invented a standardized irrigation vehicle to help boost modern agriculture and agribusiness in the country. Ghana is one of the few West African countries where agricultural mechanization has recently undergone rapid utilization with agricultural tools used for irrigation, cultivation, plowing and other activities and widely adopted even among small farmers. So stick to this video to the end as we look at this new standardized invention introduced in Ghana by Osafo Kantanka and all the information surrounding its operations. Before we begin as always, I would appreciate a like on this video and subscribe to this channel. Let's get right into it. An array of products including an irrigation farming track meant to boost crop production was exquisitely exhibited at this year's Kantanka Ghana Tech Expo of the Christo Asafo Mission in Accra, Ghana. The main technology, the Kantanka Nyansabuakwa, a multi-purpose track with a 14,000 liter capacity for irrigation, organic fertilizer application and liquid pesticides. The new technology covers 40 acres of land at a speed of 5 km per hour, while it covers 120 acres of land at a speed of 11 km per hour. This was amongst a number of Kantanka vehicles, electrical and electronic items, agricultural machinery, artificial intelligence, herbal pharmaceutical and organic foods, manufactured by Christo as a formation of Ghana, and other 22 exhibits from tertiary and secondary schools, all on display at the annual event. The founder of the Kantanka Automobile, Apostle Okojesafo in his address, said the group seeks to use the new irrigation technology to boost agriculture all year round. The irrigation track was designed such that the irrigation system was adjustable so that the water could be applied to the small seedlings, especially at the nursery level. And when the crops are picked up, you can also use this same technology to apply water. It can be applied even at the harvest period where it grows to its fullest. The new machinery covers a stretch of 120 feet for both sides and very good for mechanized farming where there are larger acres of land for farming, he said. He called for strong support from the media and Ghanaians in general through the use of native dialect and expertise. He said the notion that only those with first-class education were the most talented and often rewarded should be changed. Rather, the country needed to support people using the native knowledge and expertise to advance development in the country. The leader of the Kantanka Automobile, Nana Kojo Safo Akofna, said there were 60 more reasons why the country needed to stop considering external loans alone as African salvation and rather look in words not in speech but in action at mobilizing for change especially in areas of science and technology if innovation is problem solving we can no longer afford to put it at the bottom of our priorities on this continent he said there was the need to tap into the old african ways of highly advanced irrigation technologies and climate to develop the continent for the better this cantanka's new invention introduced is a clear indication that ghana's agribusiness sector will would lead to higher incomes and more job creation. Attracting private participation in the sector allows Ghana to compete globally. Such agribusiness development path paves the way for economic growth, structural transformation, and improves technical skills, which in turn can capitalize economic activities and connect major sectors in the Ghanaian economy. This agricultural mechanization would be a game changer in this industrial space. If you like content like this, be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Also, check out this video next on other amazing developmental projects currently going on in Ghana. Thank you and on to the next video. Be sure to check this video out.